I got firebugs. Top tips on Tuesdays again. This week, we're going to cover how to process in a bark to do a fire roll. Uh, this is um, some big yellow flowered sort of mallow. Um, it's a new thing I've found. I don't really know what it is. Uh, it doesn't really matter the uh, cord holds up to the snap test so we might be able to get some fibres out of it we'll, uh, we'll see the processing is the same whether it works or not so this is just about showing you how to process uh, the bite to get the fibres so what you need and like making cordage for fire rolling you don't need lengths longer than sort of thumb to your little finger -ish, like that it just makes it easier to uh, process so if you just chop them off to about the same length like that ways just to split it in half or there about snap it just peel the bark off like that yeah so you've got some straps of bark flat surface I just use my uh, one piece machete here. Set the outer bark off first. Scraping it with a, just a Chinese soup spoon here, but it could be the uh, 90 degree spine of a of a knife, piece of shell, piece of short stone. But look, when you start scraping it, you get rid of the outer bark and the green cambium layer and you get down to the sort of starts turning white as you can see that let's get you in a little bit closer there mm -hmm. yeah it starts turning white like that just keep going over it turn your spoon and work your way back you see how this pump bit's white this is green, that's still got the cambium layer on it, so scrape that. This is the same principle for uh, I use for all my inner bark fire oil preparations. See the fibres already starting to come out so Once you've gone all halfway like that, turn it over. Go back down the other side. Squeezing that plant matter out. With the strokes, scraping. You can tell when you've got it right because it sort of goes white like that. Green disappears. See the difference here. Yeah? Mm. And turn him over. Outside first, out the box. Get that off. That comes off easy. Look. Mm. See, as I squirt, that green disappears. And plant matter and juice in there getting scraped out as well one side and the other side 
side, turn him over. Do the same. green in there still so just screw it as hard as you need to just to get it moving and yeah start at the end and work back like that yeah so you get it pretty uh pretty white like that so you end up with that Really want. And if you start from the edges, look, it's in all them fibres, that's what you want guys. So you're just going to pull all them apart. This is why you, you don't want super long ones, you just want bits that are going to tangle together later when you roll. So, strip them all apart. Get them all separated best you can. This will make it dry easier. With some uh, inner boards that have like a sticky latexy sap, once I get to this stage, get them all separated. I uh, sometimes give them a good wash just to get rid of any. Uh, sap that might dry and inhibit <coughs> your ember somehow uh, I found with some it doesn't make the difference actually but there you go So what you got there guys is just your, your thin fibres, just going to scrunch them up loosely. Pull them apart a bit. And that's it. What you're going to do now is let that dry. Out here in the sun, five minutes, it's pretty... Uh, pretty much crispy yeah and then you're just gonna roll them again pull them apart and then roll it into a mat like that add your ashes roll them up you're good to go So, there you got it guys, now to process, in a bike, to fire rolling. That's my top tips for Tuesdays for this week guys, so thanks for watching, I'll catch you later.